Hi, Jamila and I are eating Panda Express, and we're going to be trying out some of the brand new menu items. Yes. I know it doesn't look like actually a lot of food, you guys, which is kind of interesting, but it actually is a good amount. Yes. Like, um, I think what it is is the angle, maybe, it makes it look kind of small, but it's actually a lot of food. I wouldn't say it's a lot of food. I'd say it's a lot of food. But, okay, but we it's stacked on yes. top. Yeah, so. It is. But it doesn't matter. We're here to <laughs> we're here to taste test. Yes. And talk about it and, and see what's up, right? Exactly. So there's only two new menu items, but here it mm -hmm. is. It is the uh, chili crispy shrimp. Ooh. Which I think is really good. It's basically fried shit, fried shrimp, chili flakes. It's got some onions and like bell peppers in Did it. Did you cuss? No. Oh, you said shrimp. Yeah, but it's not like, shrimp. Oh, okay. It's not yeah, like okay. you said something else. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, did, did I you bleep you? I'm like, did I? <laughs> okay. It's all good. So we'll see how that goes. It smells yeah. really good. It does smell really good. It does. And then they have um, apple pie egg rolls, okay? Yes. We would have got more had we had known they were really thin. Yes, exactly. I want to shout out to Jerry, by the way. And I think quite a few right. other, I think we had quite a few other people that mentioned it too. We did. But we Jerry, did. I think your email was the first one that I saw that said, you guys got to try out these apple pie yep. uh, egg, egg rolls. rolls. So thank you so much for the suggestion. Yes. Yeah, so there's That's apple good. pie, you know, uh, stuffing in there, whatever, filling, filling. stuffing, <laughs> apple pie filling in there, and of course a cinnamon sugar like on the outside, yep, um, and a nice crispy egg roll. Exactly. Um, so yeah, let's try this out let's and try see it how it is, right? Let's do it. Okay. Should we try the chili shrimp first? Yeah. Oh, we have chow mein and orange chicken just because. Oh, yeah. Let's be real. That's a go-to. <laughs> exactly. I never go to Panda Express without getting that. <laughs> you really got to get the orange chicken. Yeah. And I think if we've, there's a few people that have commented below that said they didn't like the orange chicken. What's wrong with you guys? Who doesn't like the orange chicken? <laughs> no, it's man. all good. It's hella good. It's not for everyone, but I think it's really good. Yeah. All right. Here it is. Let's try it. Let's try it and see how it is. Okay. One. I hope it's not hot. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll find see. out. One, two, two three. three. Hmm. That's what you guys. I gotta do one more bite. I gotta do one more. Ooh, this is a little spicy. Oh, that's a kick. It does have a kick. At the end. It's like the, the chili flakes, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Um. Not a lot of flavor going on here. It's not a lot of flavor. It's not bad. Mm -hmm. I think I like the honey walnut shrimp better. Yes. Because yes. it's sweeter. Um, more flavor. More flavor. Mm -hmm. And it has, it's a little more wet. Mm -hmm. Actually, or is it wet? Maybe it's not wet. No, it is a little wet. It is. The, the honey walnut shrimp is. Yeah. This is kind of dry, which I don't know if it's supposed to be. There is like some oil right here on the bottom. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can see that. And I think it is supposed to be a little wet. But for the most part, it is dry, mm -hmm. which isn't a bad thing. No. To me, I just think that I don't mind it. in order to eat this, you got to like soak it in soy sauce mm -hmm. or, you know, some other type of sauce to make it taste a little bit better. Yeah. It's bland, but it's not, it's not bad. I know I always say that. It's, <laughs> it's not the worst thing, you know, that I've ever had or anything. Um, but, um, but yeah, it just, it just lacks a little, little flavor. That's pretty, pretty much it. Yeah. Know? It's not that hot. It does have a little kick, but mm -hmm. I would say heat level... I'm personally feeling like a t two to three. Yeah. What do you think? I would actually say about a three. Yeah. And then it disappears real quick. Yeah, it does. Like, that's the thing too. Mm -hmm. Like with a lot of spicy stuff, it lingers for a while. Mm -hmm. This is one of those things that it hits you, hits you for a minute and then it goes away. Mm -hmm. Totally. You know what I mean? Totally. So it's okay. I mean, I appreciate that they have another shrimp dish because I know they really only have the. Yes. A, I think pretty much the honey wild shrimp. Um, yeah, is there anything? I don't think there's anything else. Not that I can think of. Mm -hmm. And not everybody likes that because it is kind of a sweet, savory thing going on with that. Mm -hmm. um, this is good. It's very more on the savory side. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's a crispy shrimp. It's okay. I just wish it was a little more saucy. Yeah. But I think flavor wise, it's okay. It's kind of it's kind of mediocre. Exactly. Exactly. Orange chicken, however. Yeah, I was gonna say that one's really good. Mm -hmm. I don't know why they have such orange, such good orange chicken, but they do. Like, it's so crazy. Like, I think I mentioned this plenty of times before. You guys, we've gone to, like, Chinese restaurants and tried their orange chicken. It's just, it's still not as good, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. 
Like, it's actually better at Panda Express. I totally agree. You can't say that about any other fast food place. No. That there's a, a, a dish that they have that's better than other real spots. And you've you know seen, I mean? yeah, and you've seen the sections of the orange chicken. It's like the yeah. big vats of it that they make, you mm-hmm. know, hella, and they're always making more. Mm-hmm. Obviously, it's like a, I think, the number one dish. I think so. Mm-hmm. I mean, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. we've had great orange chicken at places. Mm hmm. But something about Panda Express, though. Mm-hmm. Something about that. Okay, let's rate this. Mm-hmm. Obviously, we'll take a bite of the dessert, and then we're going to chat a little bit. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Um, okay, let me think for the shrimp. Yeah. Man, this is not exciting at all. Yeah. I got it. Shrimp is boring. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's do it. I'm ready. One, One two, two, three, three five, five and a half. half. Oh, my gosh! Yeah. <laughs> That's the most exciting thing about the shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> is that we got the same number? Ah, it's same, score. <laughs> same rating, same score. It's hundred percent fine. It's fine. Yeah, it's a hundred percent not memorable. Man, it's I mean, pretty mid. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty mid. Boredom comes to mind. But guess what? Yes, we have dessert. Let's do it. Okay, Panda Express. Uh, they did. You know, they have like I think they have the chocolate chip cookies. Oh, they do. Yes, those are good. Mm-hmm. They're on the softer side. Yes, they are. But I'm excited for like an actual like baked. Exactly. You know, or deep fried. It's just deep fried. You know, egg, uh, it's apple true. roll. I think it looks good. It does. Let's now, try this. we actually um, mm. got something like this from Sal's Pizzeria. Yes. Um, where they had something like this, and it was very good. They did. I remember really liking it a lot. So, to be honest, I'm going to be comparing that to this. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, but looking at it, it doesn't look like there's a lot of filling. It's pretty thin. It's like the almost the size of my, it's a little bigger than my finger. Yeah, I would say. But it's like dense. But it is dense. It's not light. Exactly. So I like that. How about we break it in half and see what it looks like? Go for it. All right. So here goes the inside. Ooh, nice and gooey. Okay. It's Ooh. actually a decent amount in there. How close. close? Yeah. Thank you so much. That's the Is inside, you guys. Go. So it's not bad. Yeah. Okay. That's that's actually pretty stuffed. See, I thought it wasn't going to actually be that filled. Yeah. You know, because an advertisement, you know, they have it all filled and stuff. Yeah. And it's going to be that great, but it's pretty good. I think that looks pretty. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's try it. All right, cinnamon sugar on the outside. Let's do it. One, two, two three. three. Mm. Hmm. Okay. No. This could be because it was sitting out for a while. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> okay. Flavor wise, I think it's totally fine. I think really? it's, it's de- yeah. Flavor wise, I think it's decent. Mm-hmm. I have an issue. The inside of the egg roll is like mushy, mm-hmm. but then the outside's crunchy. So you get this like crunch, which is really nice. Then you get this like hard. Mm-hmm. Kind of hard mush, and then mm-hmm. crunch, and then hard mush. Mm-hmm. So I don't like the texture of this. That's what's throwing me off. Mm-hmm. I think the filling, though, in my opinion, is fine. Mm-hmm. I just don't know if I love the texture. Got you. You know, it's funny. I actually don't mind the texture at all. I mean, I know what you're saying mm-hmm. when you say that, mm-hmm. but I don't mind that. It's not hard. Yeah, you think that's a problem for you? That's a problem for you. It is a problem for me, yeah. Okay. I mean, I, I know stale. what you mean. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it does actually look like the inside does look really soft, so I do wonder if... Maybe they have like a, like they wrap the filling in something kind of soft and then they. It's almost like a barrier. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of weird. Because it does look like there's layers to it a little bit. Uh So I wouldn't be surprised if they did something. Mm -hmm. Um, What's kind of weird to me is it's, it's just not full. It's, it's, it's like paste that doesn't have a lot Mm. of flavor to it. You know what I mean? Like that's really the theme of today is the fl- lacking flavor. So you don't love the flavor. I don't love you the think flavor. Uh huh. I mean, you know, I've had I, I love apple pie, so I've had a lot of fillings. Mm-hmm. A lot of fillings. You know what I mean? Homemade mm-hmm. and stuff that you buy from the store and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. You know, you get those um what are those pies, those hostess pies. Mm-hmm. Those things are so good. Those you apple like those. pies. They used to be. Uh-huh. I mean they're still they're still good, but not as good I feel like as they used to be. They've Anyways, changed the recipe. They've changed the recipe a yeah. lot. Mm-hmm. But the point is this is like neither of those. This doesn't give me, this gives me just some paste. Because you have had a lot. Yeah, I know lot. what you're saying. You've Over the years. of apple pie filling. You have. Mm-hmm. That's like, you love this dessert. It's like your dessert. I really do. And yeah. so I got definitely high standards. I'm going to be a little more biased. Mm-hmm. You know, if you're not, if you just want something that's a little dessert, a little, 
quick little thing, then this this might be your jam. You know what I mean? This mm-hmm. might be okay for you. But mm-hmm. if you're something like me and you really like apple pie filling and stuff like that, you're not gonna like this. Yeah. You're gonna know this is definitely a. Uh, this is a uh, what's what's the word? Um, imposter. Generic. It's generic. Yes. A but generic. imposter. I like that word too. You like it's, imposter. Yeah, because it's like it's it's acting like it's somebody you know like it's gonna be good. <laughs> but you take a bite and it's like nah, it's mm-hmm. it's definitely not. So it's I'm, not bad though. But it's wrapped like multiple times. I'm telling yeah. you, it's like stale hard. <laughs> stale that's my hard. that's my problem with it. <laughs> yeah, that could be because of our our which we'll call it. Um, because it's been sitting out maybe a little bit. Because I'll tell you one thing, um, Panda Express is known for that. Yeah, it is. To let stuff sit out. But for I a while. don't. I personally don't mind the flavor of it. Yeah. I just it's the okay. texture for me definitely throws me off. It makes me not like it. For sure. For sure. So yeah. let's rate. Let's rate it. Which is tell the fam if it's worth getting or not. Okay. Okay. One in ten. I think I'm ready. Me too. One, one two, two, three, three four. five. Okay. Mm-hmm. Four out of five. Yeah. Cool. I mean, it's not because it's a dessert. You know, the cinnamon sugar on the outside actually tastes perfectly fine. Mm-hmm. So, it does give you a nice little, you know, sweetness vibe going on there. But that's what it is. The inside, it's not it's not much sweet. Too. Yeah. It's not very sweet. I agree. Um, yeah. Done. What I need you guys to do is go to Panda. <laughs> get the chow mein. Get the orange chicken. <laughs> and you'll be happy. I'm sure you already mm-hmm. do that if you're, if you're a Panda lover. Mm-hmm. That's what you need to do. Uh, yeah. The rest is and very... It was very mediocre. Exactly. And get it fresh, by the way. Because mm-hmm. this doesn't taste fresh. Yeah. It tastes like it's been sitting out for a little bit. It tastes like the batch right before they make the new batch. Mm-hmm. That's what we got. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I agree. Um, yeah. It's okay, mm-hmm. This reminds me. This is actually like a little bit of... Mm-hmm. What's the word? Just a bad memory. Bad memories? Yes. I remember. Panda Express? Yes. I remember going in multiple times to Panda Express, mm-hmm. getting my order, you know, and I'll usually get orange chicken, yeah. chow mein, mm-hmm. and maybe one other protein. Yeah. I usually switch up the second protein. Yep. I like the broccoli beef. Oh, yeah. I used to get that all the time. Love the broccoli beef. Yeah. And I love the mushroom chicken. Uh-huh. Anyways. Um... I remember scraping the end, the end of the vat of the orange chicken for me. You know, they don't have a lot left, but it's enough to give you your section of it. Mm -hmm. So you get these little itty bitty baby pieces. That are rock hard. Look at this. Yeah. (laughs) And then, and then they give it to you and you're like, okay, well that's all they have. So they give you and your, and your plate goes to the next person. Mm. And then as soon as you're done, you see the new person coming with a fresh, <laughs> with a fresh orange chicken with the vat, putting it in. Yeah. Has that not happened to you? That's it happened, has to, happened me to me on multiple occasions. It has happened to me. It's happened to me as I'm walking out. <laughs> they bring it out. Yeah. And it's just like, man. You know, I, oh, I want that. Now, sure, you can be one of those people that's like, look, I want the fresh one. Mm-hmm. But it's true. I feel bad because they already make your plate for you. Yeah, exactly. They definitely do. Please comment below if you've been there. <laughs> you know, I don't know if I ever told you this, but the first time I went to Panda Express, um, one, the orange chicken to me was life changing. Uh-huh. Definitely life changing. I loved orange chicken. Mm-hmm. But I also got the Kung Pao chicken. Mm-hmm. In a way, that was life changing too because at the time, I really couldn't handle that much spice, and that thing was hot. <laughs> I remember just thinking, like, I spent this money on this thing, and I can't even eat this because it's so hot. I was well, so. You were mad. young. Huh? Oh yeah, for sure. I was. Yeah, I had to be at least early, early twenties. Mm-hmm. I could have been nineteen because mm-hmm. I remember it showed up in you know in Marin where we were at. I remember just taking a bite and being like, "Man, this is so hot." <laughs> It was. I was so mad because I didn't know Kung Pao chicken was hot. Mm-hmm. I didn't know. I thought I had it before prior to that, and it wasn't hot. But it was really crazy. So it like ruined your meal. Yeah, it ruined the meal. Yeah. Or the chicken was great, but once I was done with it, I still wanted more food, and I couldn't eat the Kung Pao chicken. So yeah, but you can do it now. Now it's fine. I can. Yeah, yeah without a doubt, I could eat it no problem. But I don't want to because. I don't know. I like I like other things. I like yeah. other things there. I'm not a big fan of the kung pao chicken. You know. Yeah, you don't get it that often. Yeah, you know it's funny. Like, you know, we talk about like trying Chinese food from like different places and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Like, we want to go to New York, 
one day and actually try Chinese food there because we hear it's really, really good there, mm-hmm. you know? I'm sure all the New Yorkers who are yeah. watching this right now yeah. are like, what are you eating? <laughs> exactly. 100%. It's true. I, I think so. I really want to try the Chinese food from New York. Yeah, we really want to try it. It looks so good. You know, we've been to a lot of Chinese restaurants, you know, out in the Bay Area and stuff like that, and they have some very, very good places, but to me, they're kind of few and far between. They are. You know, you really do have to do your research to find really good ones. Um, you know, even when you find on like Yelp and Google, you find ones that have really good reviews. They still, maybe not everything is good. You might have to know what to get there that's good, right? Mm-hmm. Because not every dish is going to be good. But some places like Goji, yeah, which we go, which we've eaten there plenty of times before. Goji I think we did Kitchen, a video. Goji we did Kitchen. a video, Santa Rosa, California. So good, mm-hmm. everything there is spot on. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, everything that we've tried, I, I should say, is spot on. You know, but um, you know, it's hard to find that. But I feel like in New York, yeah, it's all good. It, probably most. I don't know why I feel that way. I feel like you there's I mean? a lot that are good. Yeah, exactly. And open until like four a.m. It's like wow. Mm-hmm. You guys are lucky. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we don't have that here. Now, yeah, good Chinese here. There's been a couple places that have been okay, mm-hmm. but it's different. Yeah, good Mexican is kind of mm-hmm. except for tacos. You can find good tacos here, but like we mm-hmm. said, good Mexican is kind of a little hard to find. Mm-hmm. To bet if you want a burrito. Sure. Um, good Indian is hard to find, mm-hmm. and I think good Chinese and good sushi. I don't mm-hmm. know. Yeah. So yeah. That's true. I think you're right. Speaking of um, Mexican food too, mm-hmm. I want to try it from Texas. Uh-huh. You know, we were talking to Dalvin. Uh, shout out to Zaddy Chung Chung. Yes. Um, he mentioned that like um, out there in, in uh, uh, is it Southwest? Southwest, I guess Texas is. Anyways, it doesn't matter. The tacos are more of like a Southwest style. Oh, okay. Versus what we're used to in California. Which is more, I don't know, a Cali style, <laughs> you know? Mm-hmm. But I feel like, uh, I feel like, like California, in my opinion, probably, in my opinion, has the best tacos. But I got to go to Texas to kind of try it now because it. out there, they're supposed to be really, really good as well, you know? Like, is Texas so, more like Tex Mex? That's it, yes. Kind of, I'm, yeah, yes, which is Tex Mex yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, type of tacos and stuff like that. Totally. So I definitely want to try them out there, but. The New orange York, chicken's hot. It was, what do you mean, spicy? Yeah. You know. Isn't it? I don't I think know. It, sometimes it is. That's those chili flakes on it. I was going to say, sometimes it oh, is. I wonder right. if it's because maybe it got mixed in or something like that. No, but I think it's just sometimes it's a little kick to it. Sometimes there is just yeah, a kick. But I'm know. sensitive to spice, as you guys know. <laughs> I know. But anyways, um, yeah. babe, yeah. would you recommend yes. these two new foods? To the fam. 100%. Especially to our haters, please go out right now and get it. <laughs> get extra of these two things together. <laughs> Eat them together. You know what I mean? If, you, if you're someone who's uh, hating on us currently, uh, go get the chili shrimp. <laughs> extra. <laughs> exactly. Um, no, but in all honesty, I would have to say... Yeah. Um, hard pass. Yeah, hard. Very yeah. hard. Mm-hmm. Very hard pass. Okay. Don't even worry about it. Don't worry. It's we nothing. did it for you. Yeah. It's all good. You know, it's funny, like, I, I'm giving this, you know, the shrimp a five and this a four. Mm-hmm. They might as well be ones because I, I just, I'm like agitated that I even tried them. <laughs> I am a little bit. It's so cute. I'm a little upset. <laughs> <laughs> That's how lackluster these things are. Yeah, I, I know. You hardly ate. It's not good. I feel bad for you. <laughs> Don't feel bad. I'll be fine. There's something in the refrigerator. <laughs> I'll find food in the refrigerator. But I'm not eating. I'm not eating more of this shrimp, and I'm not eating this last little thing here. What if I said this you is... have to finish this? Well, just for just because for you have nothing? to. Because I don't. No. <laughs> you have to finish it. Like that chow mein. We're gonna heat that up later and eat that. And yeah, honestly, chicken the orange sure. chicken's hard. And then we got the end of the vat. Yeah, we did. Or whatever it's called. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah, we got the end. We need to get a fresh batch. That's what we need. We right? do. Fresh is best. Yeah, it is. Okay. Are, are you? What, what would you recommend? Would you recommend this? Would 100%. you tell them? One hundred percent. No, definitely not. You guys, no, no. Stick to. Yeah. Stick to the OG. Uh, yeah. uh, items mm-hmm. and you'll be good but it's always fun to try some are not always hits but true. That's we true. still enjoy it so that's very very true yeah. so okay guys okay, I think guys. we're wrapping this up yes we are if you have tried these items please let us know what you think of them are we mm-hmm. tripping on our five scores yeah. or um, are we spot on let us know yeah I think I think you guys are going to be thinking we're spot on yeah for sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys we love you so much and we'll Absolutely. see you tomorrow for another video I'll catch you next time Bye. peace, peace. peace out,